All right, guys, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to test my EcoFlow to charge my Model Y. So we are going to attach this one. So I have the EcoFlow Delta Max 2 right there, as you can see. And we are going to charge the Model Y using the sun. So because this is 110, we are going to reduce the amperage because the EcoFlow is 110. So we are going to reduce the amperage to just 12 amps. Just like when you're 110 in your home, like your regular outlet. So we're gonna do that. Okay, so that's 12 amps. And then So you also need one of these which is a ground. So you need one of these. Put this here. Plug that in there. So that's your ground. So let's go to the mobile charger. Attach this one. Put that here together. Okay, attaching it. Plug this in here. That's plugged and then we are going to turn on the unit so right now I have 100% below is the discharge and the above is the input so let's try this on and turn on the back right there it's flowing current right now so let's see if it opens up it did open up blinking blue and now it's charging let's see how much charge is putting to the car so it's charging so I have 61 percent putting in 120 12 amps at one kilowatt drawing so if I have to charge this from 61 to my setting at 80 percent I will be charging it at 11 hours so I know it's low but let's see So right now, it is drawing 1,397 watts to charge and without any input, I would be able to charge for an hour. As you can see here, there's an hour with this load and no input. So I can charge it with my solar right here. So this panel. So this one I just finished putting in my stand. So this panel is 100 watts each. So we are expecting to draw, right now as the sun is out, we are expecting to draw at least 200 watts going into the EcoFlow and flowing it to the car. So right now it's 61% and it's now down to 10 hours and 55 minutes to charge from 61 to 80. So I'm going to attach the solar panel. All 
All right, we have all the connection. So I'm connecting the two panels at 100 watts panel on a series connection. And this is going to be at the back of the EcoFlow. And this one right here is facing to the sun. Let's see how much power is drawing from the panel based on our sun. It's reading the input. So right now I'm drawing 120 watts from the two panels, 120 watts input, 1,397 output. So I still have an hour left to charge my Model Y. So it's charging. Now it's increasing to 125. So as the solar panel heats up facing directly to the sun, it will draw more wattage, it will draw more input watts to the battery of my Delta Pro EcoFlow. It's still charging. It's slow, but again, when you are camping out and about and you have no outlet to plug in your Model Y, Model 3, or even X and the S, you still, this is an option for you to charge. And so it's slow. So maybe for an hour, you can drive three to four miles enough for you to get to the nearest town or maybe supercharger for that matter. But again, uh, right now it's fall. So the sun is not that bright and intense. If the sun is very intense, then we will be drawing higher than the 125 watts. Also, I have four of the panels. I'm only using two right now. So if I use all four of my panels, then I would be drawing with this intensity, I would be drawing roughly around 250, 300 maybe, or four panels. So that would help us recharge the battery of the EcoFlow. And even though it's drawing 1300 watts, then it's still somehow um, put more faster to replenish the battery. So if you are out and about or camping, or in your, if you are like, um, off grid. So this is one thing that you can also bring in uh, if you want to do that. But so I just want to show you guys that it is possible to charge your Tesla with the sun. All right. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, please uh, hit me a comment down below. And again, please consider subscribing. That would help my channel on the algorithm. So thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye.